Hello, this is Eileen, the environmental educator. And in this video, we're going to talk about how much does in currency collapsing debt, United States, which right now, uh, $34.5 trillion, May, uh, March 18th, 2024, 8.30 p.m. Mountain Time, how much are they obligated to continue to help to pay for sand dunes that then get wiped out by a storm. Okay, so this right here is a March um, 15th, 2024 article. Uh, there's there's another one at Yahoo, March 15th, 2024. And um, the residents paid $600,000 for sand and much of it was washed away. So... You know, I did um, a video last August 18th, 2023, that the headline was, it, it took 1.7 to um, fix beaches on Fire Island in New York, and one storm wrecked them. And um, the, the Fire Association re replied to that article, <laughs> and they said, um, the 1.7 billions referenced here is the estimated cost of multiple proposed storm mitigation and resiliency projects scheduled for the 50 year FIMP program for 82 miles of Suffolk County shoreline. It includes, um, road and home elevations on the mainland, several bay projects, inlet drilling, and shoreline restoration in the Hamptons and Montauk. And the price tag of the expected restoration project for Fire Island alone was approximately 220 to 260 um, million dollars. And they said that, you know, that cost included beach and berm restoration for all 17 communities, mobilization costs for the dredges, obtaining 400 plus easements, moving houses back from the dune line, um, condemnation awards the county legal fee and, and it also says here that um, the times that headline was changed the next day two millions were spent to fix fire island beaches some have completely eroded but still millions were spent okay potentially tens if not hundreds a hundred million dollars was spent on something that got washed out by one storm. Okay. The, these, um, properties, these, you know, islands right here in Massachusetts, it says that the beach is some four miles long in total with the adjoining properties worth about two billion. And I'm betting in the Hampton, uh, it, it's a little in the Hamptons, it's a little more than that. But right here, so this, this was, August 18th, 2023, when that article came out, and then the Fire um, Island, what are they called here? The Fire Island Association responded to it, okay? But then, in December of 2023, uh, right here, um, Fire Island Community calls for action over rapid beach erosion caused by storms, and then, in January um, 26, 2024, uh, the feds finally agreed to make repairs to sand on Key Island beaches um, to protect them for the next generation. <laughs> really? The next generation? that They can't protect them from the next storm. But, you know, the feds, I mean, right there, there's some of the um, damage that happened, okay? And the feds, oh, yeah, we're, we're talking about national public servants. We, we got Schumer here. Okay, we're, we're talking about um, the governor right here. So, yeah, the, the you know, big, big people are coming out. Of course, <laughs> we'll spend money. We'll, we'll just, just throw money at it. Well, we're not throwing money at it. We're throwing debt at it. And how much debt does America, do people in Iowa owe beach owners in Massachusetts in the Hamptons?
Now, true, okay, you know, this, this Massachusetts beach, um, Salisbury Beach, it, it is, you know, a public facility. Um, it's, it's a state park right here, and, you know, it has camping, and, and it has beaches, and, you know, boating, and fishing, and um, it, it's right here. With Salisbury Beach, it, it's right here at, at the northern part of the northern county. So right here on the Rhode Island border is where this recent beach erosion happened. But, you know, th the point is, is how much do you keep throwing at something that's just a wasted cause? That is just going to keep getting wiped out by a storm. I mean, even this um, Fire Island Association response here, the, um, the Fire Island Pines Fire Commissioner, Walter Boss, who it says right here, uh, has lived on the Barrier Island for more than 50 years, said, um, this is not funny anymore. This is a real emergency. He, he said, we lost another 20 feet with live trees and it's just getting closer by the minute. So, you know, the, these people are very concerned. I, myself, uh, I love the New England beaches and, you know, I, I grew up in a bunch of them and sure, I, I love them, but at some point, e even if now Fire Island, you know, is a place where people go out in vacation and this um, Salisbury, you know, it is a place, of course, you know, there's there's revenue, there's there's a place where people go out and utilize the great outdoors. But but how much money does in currency collapsing debt, United States government who basically doesn't spend money, spends debt. I mean, half of the money the government takes in pays the interest on the debt alone. There's not a lot left. And yet they <laughs> just, oh yeah, more and more and more and more. That's why this debt clock doesn't stop going up. It, we just reached $34 trillion, what, a week or two ago? 30, we're now $34,522 billion. I mean, are, are, are you kidding me? When does this stop? I, I mean, it would be one thing if you invested money and it like it actually lasted and did good. But this isn't lasting. Things are getting washed away in a storm. So, you know, all, all the independent media, global warming is not real, man. Climate change isn't real. You know, they, they know everything. Well, I, I don't know. Talk to these people about it. You know, I, I don't know. If global warming's real or not, I mean, how how can I? We, we, no, you can't believe any government figures. You just. But if we just lived responsibly, we could take a gazillion emissions out of the equation, and not just heat retaining emissions, but all toxic and chemical emissions. But you know, n nobody. Nobody cares about solutions. Nobody will allow solutions. And the independent media won't give you solutions. And they just say global warming is not real. But it's pretty real to these people here. And if we just lived responsibly, we could take that out of the equation. And maybe this wouldn't be happening. But how much money do you keep throwing at things that then just get washed away? It just doesn't last. And the United States does not have money to keep throwing at beach homes. My, my sympathies, truly, I would love a beach home, okay? But, you know, it, it's like when you have something that's uninsurable, you realize that you're operating with if if it goes, that's it. It goes. There, there's no replacing it. Well, maybe at great cost to you, you can replace it. But it's not Americans' responsibility to protect, be protecting the homes of the Hamptons to the tune of hundreds of millions of dollars. 
or, you know, may maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> I mean, it would be one thing if we were rolling in dough and just didn't have anything to do with it and go, yeah, throw, throw millions at every storm that comes along and then we'll just put more sand there and it doesn't matter. Right now, it matters. America doesn't have billions or hundreds of millions of dollars to be putting towards beach restoration. So stay tuned, people.